Hello, this is Bini here. On the 14th of August, I updated that I was very bearish on S&P 500. In fact, that I showed that if you draw this one line, which is this one wash line, that we are going short if price is below this one wash line. Not only I'm going to show you the outcome of this trade here, Okay, but also going to do in this video is to talk about whether I'm still that bearish or that S&P 500 is right now at a support. Let's review on what I said about S&P 500 and where we should be going short. Basically in this video here, I've said that we'll be drawing in a horizontal line and that's just one line and this line is called the wash line. Right, and if price is to close below the wash line, we will be going short. And indeed, that it moved according to what we are seeing here. Price moved down and price went below 4,444. And right now, it's trading near to 4,369. And actually, it went to the low of 4,332. Now, why was I very confident about this trade? And that's because of the momentum. If you take a look into MACD, so this is the MACD indicator. The MACD line, which is the blue line, is far away from the orange line which is a signal line okay you see that they're all trending down both trending down and the space between them are opening up so what does it mean that when a space between them are opening up it means that the momentum is actually very strong what momentum the downward momentum so when i shot on this um wash and rinse i'm just shorting where it temporarily moved up along a downward momentum so this is the whole idea here now let me just ask you one question now that the price is into a horizontal support level that means that price is right now near the support level then what do you think of the momentum you see the momentum is still red and furious that means the macd lines are still opening up this means that the bearish momentum is still very strong so even though price is near to the support level which is like a temporary stoppage here we shouldn't be in a hurry to say that hey look it's very bullish no 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 we shouldn't be doing that instead if you want to observe you should be observing that price would be consolidating because remember anytime that when there is going to be like a reversal price will always need to consolidate always need to brew always need to like build up the momentum so that's the dynamic of life right even let's say for, for example if my husband or if i want to go and quarrel with my husband i always make sure that okay first time okay i just close my eyes second time i close my eyes third time then i just kick up fast okay i mean that's basically how all right but anyway the whole idea is there must be a lot of like a consolidation so we have not seen that consolidation yet but if you had cotton in the shot then it might be time to just lock in some profit as part of the trade management i just wanted to share with you for example if you had gone in a short based on let's say a derivative then your um you know profit might be a lot more than versus just going short on the index have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like DLC Daily Leverage Certificates is a structured product that's listed in SGX and SOTGEN is one of the issuer. Now, if you would like to go short on S&P 500, then you'll be choosing the daily short contract. I would be right now showing you what happened if you have chosen a daily short contract. So right hand side, this will show you the like historical price of this particular contract okay for the past 10 days if you take a look at august 15 so that was when i talk about potentially a bearish signal for S spx s p 500 now price was averaged around 17 and a half cents if you have gotten in a 70 and a half cents and then at the current trading price is about 19 and one cents right that would means uh like an average of a 10 percent return the nice thing about doing dlcs is that you don't need a lot of of investment up front the minimum contract is 100 units this means that if you are buying let's say at 17 and a half cents on the 100 units that's 17 dollars you could participate in the activity with 17 dollars of course then you still have to pay for your commission and other taxes etc i hope that you like this video and if you do please follow me in uh, telegram scan this qr code because that's where i update most of my trades as often as i can and remember to click the subscribe and the like button thank you and see you in my next video